Come here, Mitty. Hi, hey, Bubba. Come here. Come be in the video. Come be in the video. Oh. That's my guy. That's my guy. Right <sighs> that was a lot. <laughs> 2020 has come to an end. And boy, oh boy, what a year it's been. <laughs> I'm in my living room uh, just because I felt like filming in here. I was filming a different video, and so I had lights here. And so I was like, ah, why not? Let's film the, the New Year's video right here. Right here, live. 2020 was such a weird one, dude. It was such a weird one and such a horrible one for kind of everybody, to be completely honest. There were definitely highlights. There were parts of 2020, for me personally, that were great, that were fantastic, where I felt really good about myself and I felt inspired and I felt like I was doing the right things and I was proud of myself. Um, and then there were other parts of 2020 where I felt alone and I felt depressed and I felt just shitty, <laughs> just shitty. What about you, Spencer? You feel good all the time, don't you? Yeah. I think that as a whole, I feel so casual right now. I'm just sitting and lounging on my couch. It is casual though, isn't it, Spencer? It is casual. Yeah, we try and be casual around here. I think overall, we can all agree that 2020 um, was a bad year. It was a really, really bad year. I mean, what can you say about it? What can you say about it? We're in a, there's so much that happened this year. So much, like pandemic aside, obviously that's the, that's the, you know, that's really what stole the show in 2020 was the global pandemic that we went through and are still going through. And Hopefully, you know, there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon with vaccines and everything. So hopefully we are on the tail end of it. I fucking hope so because Jesus, I want to see my friends again. But just like I was, I was listening to a podcast the other day. I was listening to, uh, to Phineas and Claudia's podcast um, called We Bought a House. We Bought a House. We Bought a Home. We Bought a House. Uh, and they were saying, what were they saying? What was I just about to... Talk about? Anyway, moving on from that. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. But just for everybody, like, oh, what they were saying is 2020 might be the worst year, like on paper, the worst year that the modern world, like our generation, will see possibly ever, maybe ever. Um, so that's kind of crazy, and that's kind of... Um, it's nice in a way thinking about it like that being like hey maybe the worst of it is over and maybe every year after this will be kick ass because 2020 was so bad there was so much that happened there was the global pandemic there were wildfires in so many places there was politically it was a catastrophe this year especially in the United States there was just so, so much that happened. 2020 was an exhausting year all around for everybody. It was an exhausting year and it was a, a, a year that I think really made us reflect on what's important, at least for me. Um, I sort of learned what's important for me and I, I learned to not take things for granted, I hope. I hope that I don't, you know, once this is all over, I hope that I don't go back to just being like, ah, oh, yeah, going out and being with friends, like, well, yeah, it's whatever. I think I really, it really put into perspective how important my friends are and how important my family is. And like, especially around the holidays, like the holidays this year, which just passed, obviously, they really sucked. And I hope that they were good for you or I hope, I hope that you learned something or something like that. Um, because for me, just speaking candidly, like the, it sucked. Christmas sucked so bad. I was completely alone on Christmas. Like I, I talked to my family on the phone and stuff, of course, but that's not the same. Um, and it, it sucked. And like, I think that there was a lot of people that were in the same position of for the safety of myself and my family and the good of the realm, we'll say, you know, I got to stay home and I got to be alone. What I had... Would I have loved to travel home and take that risk um, 
like theoretically, yeah, I would have loved to have gone home, but I'm not going to put myself at risk. I'm not going to put my family at risk. I'm not going to put my friends at list, at list, at risk. And it really sucked being completely alone on Christmas. It was something that I've never dealt with before. And I think that the holidays this year were something that most people haven't dealt with because you're used to being, for the most part, people are used to being around their friends and their family for the holidays. And I think that this year, the holidays just felt really lonely and it was really isolating. You're just really going everywhere, huh, bud? But it made me reflect a lot and it made me think about, okay, like my friends and my family are really, really important to me. 2020 made me realize how much of an extrovert I actually am because I work from home and I, I'm kind of a homebody, but oh my God, I thrive on being around other people so much. So, 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 so much. And that was something that like was difficult for me at the beginning when, when quarantine and everything started was I usually try and get out of the house like once a day, whether it's like going for a drive or meeting up with a friend or grabbing a coffee or giving myself an excuse to go to a random store just to get out of the house and not doing that um, just made me realize how, how much my friends and how much being around other people is important for me. Spencer, you might be in the shot right now, and I, I know that everybody just wants to see you, and, and I want to just see you. Thank you so much. But it was a weird one, dude. It was a real, real weird one, and there were a lot of highs, obviously, Unisonis. It was so insane seeing the reaction that people had to Unisonis. Like, the videos day-to-day -day in general, but also the end of it and how people dealt with that. And I'm so incredibly lucky and so grateful um, that I got to do that and that I got to not only be a part of that in general, but to be able to do it with the people that I did it with. I, I said it in my, like, Unisonis post-mortem video, like, I don't think that there's a, a crew of people that could have done it better than me, Mark, and Amy. Um, and I, I truly believe that. And I'm so grateful that I got to make stuff with them all year. It was so much fun. And I miss it a lot. And, you know, we'll continue to create stuff together in the future. But it's not going to be Unisonis. Unisonis was a special, special little beast. That being said, <laughs> I'm really glad that it's done because it was a lot. And, uh, like, day to day, it was a big like mental strain it was like physically really demanding like being on kind of all the time is just exhausting it's so exhausting um but it gave me again a lot of perspective on my own stuff and thinking like hey i don't just have to do gaming stuff all the time like i can branch out and do other things and that's something that i've been trying to do more and I can't wait to do more of it once the normal world hopefully comes back soon so I can like go out and do cool experiences and stuff. But like even just getting the tattoo machine the other day uh, and I filmed this different video that you'll, that you'll see soon. And they're dumb ideas, but it's something different and it's something fun and it pushes me out of my comfort zone and it's doing something different. And so I'm really excited to do more different stuff this next year. Um, and just step out of my comfort zone a little bit. It's interesting thinking about, like, it's, it doesn't even feel like the new year at all. It doesn't feel like New Year's Eve normally because I'm around people. You know, I go to New Year's Eve parties. I watch the ball drop with my friends, and I'm going to be alone. And I know that nothing is going to change tomorrow. You know, like, we're... 2021 is, I think, in my mind, the glimmer of hope to hopefully get back to... Back to the start, you know, especially in the U.S. with politically things changing. Fucking thank God. You know, it's sort of like a new beginning. And I hope that we can get back to a new normal where we can be with our friends and our family again. And, you know, do the things that we want to do and not feel isolated, not feel sort of held down or whatever. But I know that that's not going to change overnight. It's not going to magically tomorrow be, oh, everything's fixed. Like, it's going to take time. But at least there's some there's some hope and 2020 felt like the year that there was like no hope because it was just thing after thing getting thrown at the world it wasn't even on a personal level it was literally the whole world just like getting hit time and time and time again like fucking the pandemic and wildfires and murder hornets 
and like so much stuff. And it's time was so weird this year. When we did the live stream um, at Hyper Studios, um, when we when we did karaoke for koalas, that was in 2020. That literally to me feels like years ago. That feels like years ago. And that was in February? Like doing the Hope for Hope from Home uh, stream where I shaved my head. My hair is now long and I don't know what to do with it. That was back in April. Like the only the only measure of time that I have anymore is the length of my hair. <laughs> also, speaking of my hair, I know a lot of people have been asking because we did some amazing stuff for charity this year. And one of the biggest things and like the most proud I've been of this community is the recent charity stream that we did for Thankmas because we raised over half a million dollars, which was so insane. And like, I didn't, listen, I didn't doubt you guys, but there was so many people streaming that I thought that it was really gonna get spread out. And the fact that this community raised over half a million dollars was absolutely insane. And so for that, I'm gonna dye my hair white, but I'm not gonna do it yet. Um, dyeing your hair white, if you don't know what you're doing, you can really mess up your hair because you have to bleach it so much. So I'm gonna dye it once I can go to an actual hair salon and get it done professionally because I don't wanna mess it up. So it's gonna be a bit, I'll, uh, it'll happen at some point, um, but it's probably gonna be a, probably a few months. Um, might not happen for a while, but I promise I will get it done once I'm able to do it safely. Spencer, what did you do this year? Hmm? You were really cute this whole year. Yeah, you were really, really cute. You met some cool dogs this year. You spent a lot of time with Henry and Chica. That was really fun. That was special, right? That was nice. Going forward though, I just wanna, I just wanna do more. And I definitely do feel really motivated to create new stuff and just, again, step out of my comfort zone. There's a lot of bigger stuff in the works that I don't know when is gonna happen because of the state of the world but stuff that I'm working on that I'm really excited about. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to, uh, I don't know, just have this next year be me focusing on me. Because Unisanas just took up a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of the year, to be completely honest. And again, I loved doing it, but it was my own channel was put on the back burner for it. And so I'm excited to just get into my, my own stuff. And that doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be more stuff because I'm not gonna say, hey, I'm gonna post every day um, because I want, I wanna make more stuff that I'm proud of and not like the quality over quantity kind of thing. I don't wanna make more stuff. What's the point of making more stuff? I wanna make more stuff that I'm proud of. Um, and so that's something that I'm, that I wanna do more this year. I'm not gonna say, hey, there's gonna be videos every day because there's not going to be because I wanna make more things that I'm proud of and more things that I'm having fun making and more things that challenge me. Um, I would like to be more consistent, but I'm not gonna make any promises because what's the, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of just making more stuff if you're not if you're not proud of it? Yeah, I didn't really have a plan for this video. I kinda just wanted to talk about the year and, and what's to come. Um, I wanna do more stuff for me on a personal level that you guys won't see and I wanna make an effort to make sure you don't see it. Like I wanna, when it's safe to do so obviously, I wanna go on a vacation for me and I don't wanna share any of it. I live so much of my life online and so much of my life, and like this is kind of a joke and a meme, but like my life is just content. <laughs> like, I mean that in a joking way, but also seriously, that I feel this need to share everything that I do constantly, all the time. And so I wanna, I wanna have a bit more separation between Ethan Nestor and Crank Gameplays. I wanna take myself on a vacation and not post about it. I wanna do more things for myself. Like I've, I've continued to go to therapy every week. Um, and that's been really great for me. I wanna do more stuff um, for myself. I wanna get into cooking more. I really, I really like cooking. Um, and that's something that I, I want to get better at, not so I can make a video of it, not so I can post about it on Instagram, 
but because I want to do it for me. Um, and I think that's the, that's the biggest thing that I, that I want to take care of is to make sure that I'm at a really good place and that I'm happy with myself and that I feel um, fulfilled in what I'm doing both in my career and just on a personal level. Because I think a lot of YouTubers, and I, I literally just had a conversation about this with somebody like 15 minutes ago. And this is something that I'm kind of proud of because of the work ethic, I guess, but it also sucks. But being a YouTuber or a streamer, it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. And it truly is. There's, the, there's that saying, and I've said this a lot, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. That's so untrue. That's such an untrue statement. Because it's more of, if you do what you love, you're kind of always working. <laughs> Which is a wonderful thing but it's a double-edged sword because on one hand, you get to do what you love every day, nonstop. But then on the other hand, you f there's not a separation. There's not you come home from work and then you get to live your normal life. It's, it's constantly on your mind and it can be really, really stressful. So I wanna make an effort to make more of a separation and, and give myself that space and do things for myself without the idea of, oh, I can make this into a video or, oh, I can post about this somewhere. I wanna do more stuff for me so that I personally am happier. And I hope that my, it's funny because my goal for that still connects to making videos because my goal for that is that if I feel more fulfilled in my personal life and I feel happier and stuff in my, in my normal life that that will translate over to videos and I'll have more fun making videos and I'll make cooler stuff and I'll feel more inspired and creative and I'll, I'll, I'll push myself more. So that's kind of funny, but that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to take care of me a little bit more. Anyway, I've been rambling. I've been chilling on this couch. I've got dog fur all over me. I hope that you learned something in 2020. I hope that there were good moments because I'm not gonna say, hey, hope you had a great year because I think for most of us, 2020 was just a rough one. And I think that it's totally okay to, to recognize that. And I think it's, it's good and it's healthy to be like, yo, this was a shit show this year. Um, but I hope that there were good moments and I hope that 2021 is filled with way more good moments. Um, don't take the things that you have in life for granted. And I hope that 2021 brings in more time with the people that you love. So anyway, thank you guys so much for supporting the thing that I do. Um, you guys have been so insane on the channel recently on Twitch and, and just everything. Um, and so this was a weird video to film. Like I feel like this entire time I had a, a much different cadence than I normally have in my videos, but I don't know. I'm just sitting being real frank with you. Thank you guys so much for everything. Goodbye 2020. Hey, 2021. Be a little cute, maybe. Happy New Year. I love you guys.